hello and welcome to a new nature journaling video i've been out and about again looking for some new things to paint mainly like wildflowers anything pretty and any kinds of creatures or insects i did manage to find these unusual things i'm, I'm not sure what they are i think it's some kind of thistle but it doesn't look like it's actually bloomed yet now in my last video found some corn flowers and there wasn't very many and I also found just a few sparse poppies and some buttercups on this pathway. Now there's the corn flowers you can see how many there were then and just about a week later they're all bloomed and this is what they look like now and I think you'll agree they're absolutely stunning. So there's loads more poppies and the cornflowers, absolutely tons and tons of cornflowers. Some lovely pink and yellow flowers in between. Uh, this is my mom on camera. She's telling me what all the names are. She knows all the names. I can't remember what she said those yellow ones were, but they're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so I was quite pleased with this. I think I've just found them at the perfect time when they've all just bloomed and they're just absolutely gorgeous and there's more of those yellow ones they look like little mini sunflowers they're so cute so next i'm going to draw some of these flowers that i've found and then at the end of the video i'll put some more footage of the flowers for anybody interested in seeing more of what i actually found i'll put those little bits of footage at the end of the video for you to see after i've done the drawing so my last nature journaling video which was my very first one i painted some cornflowers and i wasn't happy with the paper in the book that i bought so i've now got these little mini watercolor sketchbooks by arteza and it's the same paper that was in my paper review video the arteza expert paper it seems to be exactly the same paper. It's a little bit lighter. It's only £110, but it's a really, really nice um, wood pulp cellulose paper to paint on. It's probably one of the nicest ones that I've actually found that isn't 100% cotton. So you get two of these books in the pack and there were 12 99 in the UK. I think they're just a similar price in the US on the US site and I'll link them below because I am an affiliate so if you want to get some I'd appreciate it if you used my link to purchase them with. There's 40 pages so 80 in total if you use both sides and then you get two books so I suppose that's like 160 pages in total but I'm actually only going to use one side of the paper um they're just lovely little books i mean you can see that they're quite high quality they've got a lovely linen cover this lovely gray fabric they've got this cute little envelope at the back they've got a ribbon and then they've got the elastic band to go around um to close the book with now I, they do a larger size which are unfortunately out of stock on the UK side so I had to get these smaller ones but I'm actually quite pleased. I think they're really cute and I'm just going to make a smaller nature journal instead but when they get the other ones back in stock I'm still going to get them because they're such lovely sketchbooks. Okay so I'm starting again and I'm doing the cornflowers again. Uh, sorry if you've already seen me painting cornflowers from the previous video but I'm gonna then move on to a lovely little bramble picture after this so yeah I'm just using my own watercolors here as well which I'll also link below and I just want to thank everybody in the last video who helped me with the flower names because I'm not really very knowledgeable about these things but I'm learning more and more and I find it so interesting. So thanks so much for all the help. Um, somebody did actually suggest that I get an app on my phone to which which will recognise the pictures. Um, 
yeah, I did actually find a couple of those and it worked really, really well. But you only get so many free and then you have to pay. And it's not that I, I, I'm being greedy and I don't want to pay. But I, for what I'm going to use it for, it was... I think it's something like £1.79 a week or £20 for the year. And I thought, well, I might only just use it a few times, you know. But other than that, it was absolutely brilliant. I mean, if the pricing was a little bit more reasonable, like if it was a like a five or something like that, like the like the Pro Create app, you just pay a five for it, and then that's it. You own it for life. Um, I, I don't really want to sign up to something that's going to bill me twenty pound a year, and I probably won't like use it very much. But it does work absolutely excellent. It really you just take a. A, a photo and it recognises it e actually even just for a test I took a photograph of one of my paintings of one of the cornflowers and it recognised it so I was really pleased about that because I thought oh well my painting really must look like a real cornflower so now I'm just doing a little bit of calligraphy that I've been learning and I'm using some gold watercolour paint that I've just made myself so I'm hopefully gonna make more of this and then sell it in my online shop along with all my other watercolours so that'll be something for the future and I was really pleased as well with this calligraphy because it just wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be I bought myself a little calligraphy book and I'm using my dip pen that I already had and I mean that wasn't my first go obviously I practiced a little bit on some paper first of all I practiced each letter that I needed to do and I was just so pleased with how well it turned out so I'm just going back over this with some more paint because it wasn't really quite thick enough I don't think and I had a bit of a struggle um, getting the paint onto the end of the nib that's what the problem was there wasn't really enough paint in the nib but I've actually ordered some proper little dips that you use um, to put your paint in and then you can dip the end of the pen in easily okay so now on to the actual flower that I'm going to paint now I came across these and I didn't have a clue what they were neither did my mum um, they've got these absolutely beautiful pink and white kind of like blossom flowers on and then they have these unusual little what looks like birds nests with tiny little green eggs in so I had absolutely no idea what they were and I thought they were absolutely beautiful so this is what I decided to paint in my journal and luckily enough when I was actually taking photographs this became and started doing its thing on the flowers so I got some gorgeous close-up shots of the bee as well and then I used the app to um, tell me what it was and I found out it was um, blackberry brambles so this is obviously the flower and then it dies and then the little green things that look like eggs is obviously the blackberry starting to grow so okay so i am actually planning on doing some more nature journaling videos and i had an idea that next time i go out i'll go out somewhere else to see if i can find anything different and i'll go out in the car i'll drive somewhere to go on a nice walk um, and I'm probably going to video, well I am going to video part of the journey as well because um, I've seen on other videos people who, the you know, the video from the dashboard and it's like in fast motion just to shorten it and I just find, I, I just find that so nice to watch I love watching people when they go on a car journey uh, especially if the scenery is nice, it's so lovely to watch so I thought yeah, I could just put a little bit of that in it as well and then film some little flowers and insects that I see and then actually do the drawing in the journal. So I've ordered myself one of them little dash cam holders so that I can film with my phone. Um, hopefully it'll be 
okay if the quality is really bad i might not um do it but i'll only be filming from my phone so i mean iphones are usually quite good so i'm kind of hoping that'll be okay so that's what i'll be doing next and then a couple of other videos that's coming up that i'm going to be doing really shortly uh i've got some more RTs uh, products on the way. They're sending me quite a few new things. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, they've actually dispatched it. So I'm just waiting for it to arrive. And I'm going to use some of those on the colouring channel as well. And then I've been approached by a book company. And they're going to send me some books. Now that's not absolutely confirmed yet. Um, but... She said that she's going to send me some books and the, they look like really, really nice books. It's the company that did the Irreville book called Cozy Days, which I purchased, I think, just before Christmas. I have shown it in a video and they offered to send me that one, but I already have that one. And they also do the Drawing from Imagination book series as well. And I've already got two of those. So she asked me to pick some other books, which I have. And she said that she's going to send them. So I'll wait and see if they arrive. But the books that I've picked, oh my God, they look amazing. I absolutely can't wait to get them and make a video. So that'll be coming in the future. Um, like, I'm, I'm just so delighted that I got that email off that woman about them books. Because... I would do more book reviews and you'll know how if you watch my other videos how much I adore art books um, but it's just the cost of them that just cost so much it's the only thing that really holds me back from making more art book videos is the cost of the books so because she's sending me these books I'm absolutely delighted now I'm just drawing it out and then I'm going to try and paint it with watercolour. It didn't go exactly as I planned. I just couldn't get it to look right. I think maybe because the flower was too pale. Or I don't really have much experience in sketching flowers, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I definitely need more practice at it. It really did not turn out very nice at all. So I decided to go over the edges with a black pen and I decided to use one of those Pentel black brush pens because I like it when the line kind of varies and it tapers off at the end rather than just using one of the micron pens or something similar where it's just the same line with the whole way. Um, I, I like the look of those brush pens but oh my god they're so difficult to use. It's really not easy and I definitely need more practice at this as well. Um, it just didn't look right. I did the black outline and it just looked absolutely awful. So I decided to try and rectify it by then painting on some shading with the pen as well. Because it looked silly because all the shading was done with watercolour paint and then there was just this big thick black outline so um all these things i'm just learning as i'm going along and i've realized now if you're going to do like a sketch you've got to either use watercolor on its own with maybe with you know just a pencil outline or something and or if you're going to use a pen then you've got to do all your shading with the pen as well because it just doesn't look right with just a black outline and watercolor in the middle so I was quite pleased with how it turned out in the end. It's okay, but I wasn't really happy with my line work shading. And I definitely need more practice at that. I mean, I am learning that because I'm currently going through the Alfonso Dunn book. Um, but this brush pen is so hard to use. And I need to up my knowledge on what type of marks to make on flowers to make them look right because the marks that I did just didn't look right but then when I step away from it like it looks quite nice but when you see it close up the lines just look terrible so hopefully I will improve with that 
Okay, so next I'll just put up the rest of the flowers and insects that I found. Um, I didn't really find many insects. I found a butterfly, a couple of bees, a couple of ladybirds, but I didn't really get a good picture. And then I found little, a cute little dog with a man. It was out on a walk. So I'll put that in as well. Okay, so I'll just leave you with that. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please click like if you've enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment because that always helps me out with YouTube. If people leave comments, um, the more interaction the better. And if you're not already subscribed, please click subscribe and please click the bell icon because then you get informed every time I upload a new video.